Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the Monster Hunter World Iceborne Master Rate Challenge and the monster I plan on taking on in this video is Acidic Glavinous. Yeah, so one of the things that Acidic Glavinous can do is it can cause a defense debuff and for the challenge I'm not going to bring any animate seeds. Or pretty much anything that can boost defense or at the very least negate the defense debuff. So if I get debuffed, I have to deal with it as I go. Okay? It doesn't last permanently, but it can be something to deal with. Ooh, this one's a faint two times, but I get a lot of, a lot of zinny for it. So let's get going. Yeah, when I first fought, that, uh, fought this, I was wondering what it was going to cause, and a defense debuff is something that I was thinking about. The other was. The other thing I find my cause was effluvium. Hmm. I'll go this one. So it definitely causes a defense to buff. The whole effluvium where you lose half your, where you lose a large part of your life bar, well, of your maximum health. I can't remember if acidic glavinous was involved in that, or if, or if it was just a natural result of being in a rotten veil so long. But, yeah, now I'm ready to go. So let's do this then. Ah. Hmm. Alright, so we're back in the Rotten Vale. Let's see. I might as well grab these. I might as well grab the bottles. And anyway, if I grab anything, I can create some coatings. Alright, that's. Savage Joe is here. Alright, that's the fluvium. Well, the effluvium. Of course, now I got my acidic glavinous prints. Alright. And it looks like it's in the same area as Joe. Yeah, I was, try <laughs> yeah, I was trying to look at what I should use against Acidic Laminus and... <laughs> said Fire's the best thing to go with. Well, I'm gonna have to follow it. Because I can't stay down here with... Well, with our angry pickle. Turn around so I can put this on your face. There we go. Ow. I see him. Hmm. 
Now, acidic ravenous would, I think, is considered a subspecies and not a variant. Yes, it's that tail. It can, it's what can cause the defense down debuff. In fact, I think it might be the opposite of. I, yeah, I was lucky to block that. It does change things up. All right, now the now the acid is gone. That even acidic glavinus can prep you for Belkana because of its tail strike. Feels like acidic lavinus is trying to stab you with the sword, whereas with I did some damage, but some damage was taken. in a rage right now yeah that's the move uh, yeah, and whereas before regular glamorous would follow up with a second tail. with a s second tail slam this one follows up with a full roundhouse ow I should think. I should really thank my cat for that. Unfortunately, I don't think I was ever in a good position to make use of those poison pot, uh, poison caps. Actually, I should grab these slinger torches. But looks like Savage Joe's ready. <coughs> and yeah, it might be time to. Ow. Uh, I need one I need one of these to leave and well I'm getting a taste of what the pickle can do now luckily I did not ban no berries now if only I can find them I didn't bring them did I oh it's an extra challenge then Ow. And there's the defense to buff. Because as you can see, his tail currently is full of acid. Sometimes you're a help, sometimes you're a burden. If you can tell by the blue, by the outline of the numbers, I'm netting that's Dragonblight in a nutshell. 
and Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of these so I can properly set... Where's my dung bomb? There they are. I need this pickle... Ah. No! Ah, oh, thank goodness. You're quick. And when it did... I need to get away from you. I said get away from me. There we go. Much better. Now I just need him to go away. And stay away. Oh. That Savage O is making things harder than it should be. You're tired. Alright, bro. Looks like the arms. It has the same brace as regular glamness. I think the tail gets broken if it's not covered in acid. Or effluvium. Great. Those Gyroses are annoying me. And Sid Glavinus keeps running away. Making everything harder. Yeah, that's what it feels like for me. I'm not getting much offense in. As I want. Ow! That's another reason why. There we go. Got him out. I wouldn't mind being on top of this thing. I got. I do want to try and break its back. There we go. Much better. But I might as well go for the face. All right, that tail was ready. Ooh. I'm not exactly in the best of positions. Having it in a tunnel is not ideal. Or dropping down from it isn't either. That defense debuff is going to be the end of me. Alright, looks like I got the face from that. Not in a good spot, I think. Yeah, now that's 
Now that his tail's made of acid, well, got that acidic effluvium. I think I got one hit, but I, yeah, with this defensive debuff going, I'm going to get two shot. Right, now, looks like I got another, another face break. Oh great, the pickle's back. Alright, so poison is normal damage, and I forgot I had these. Where's my dumb bombs? Alright, the pickle is helping. All right, you've helped enough. You've helped more than enough today. All right, where's my healing? There it is. But you've done more than enough today. Just leave me alone. I'll get to you eventually. It does not want to leave me alone. Ever. So much so that... I could hide, but can't hide forever. And yeah, I want you to leave me alone. Uh, great, you're going where to. You're going to where the acidic glavinus is. I can't do much offensively if they're both in the same area. Even if. Oh, wait, nitro shrooms. I believe those can make me power coatings. Yep. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, I might as well top myself off. I, sh I should really put different mantles here. If I told you, leave me alone. Oh great, it's following me again. You know what? I told you, leave me alone. Oh, jeez. Maybe I should... Uh, uh, this has been one big misadventure so far. And this pickle won't leave me alone. Finally. I just want acidic glavinous and acidic glavinous only. It's been over 15 minutes. And I've hardly done anything to the monster. Well, I've broken some parts, but... It feels like I spent more time with with the pickle than with the acidic lavinous.
It's that person you tell to leave you, leave you alone, and won't. That's not good. I want to get that. This here. Alright, part of it is my own skill. Part of it is dealing with a monster that... Ow! I waited too long to get up. Ow! I am taking forever on this thing because I can't get close enough. I always have to heal. Ugh! And now I'm stunned. I'm going to cart here. Oh, by some miracle, I did not. But I need to get out. Ow! Let me heal! <sighs> Man, dealing with two, mon two monsters. One that you want to face and suck at. The other who won't leave you alone. Alright, I got... Oh, I broke the... Blade on it. Finally. Yeah, I'm going... Ugh! Everything that can go wrong is... Alright, gun. Alright, for a moment there I thought you were weakened, but you weren't. Ah, uh, honed acid crisp. I got some slinger bombs. And I might as well carve the tail before the pickle comes back. It's coming back. I can see it on the map. I got a cortex. But that's not what I'm looking for. I think what I'm looking for is is a break on its back. I, I will have to recheck and see. Well, I landed a shot on the face. Oh, jeez. I can't even clutch claw right. I went from being so good to so bad at it. I landed that hit. Well, if it weren't for bad luck, I have no luck at all. Now, speaking of bad. 
Hành lết footprints yeah I might as well drop some poison on you ow ow I am just hunting poorly here ugh Pickles back. Ow! Seriously, folks, this pickle does not know when to quit. But is poisoned. Yeah, go away. Get hungry. Ow! Ow! Just leave me alone, please! Ugh! There goes one of my things because of a freaking... A freaking pickle. Savage pickle. But, Acidic Lavinous is weakened. I cart once and it's not really my own fault. It's, it's that pickle getting in my way. And yeah, I'm going to play play extremely safe. I should have brought, brought different mantles, but hmm. Question is, is the acidic lavinous asleep? Nope. It's very well awake. I think it goes to sleep in a different area. I need to get this off. Come on. You know you want to. Yes! Taking advantage of its aggressiveness. It's over aggressive nature. And it's a brute river. And so I get a little bit more ecology in. Might as well get these to try and level up the pickle before I had to finally face it down. Man, it felt like I was trying. I only had to beat one monster. It felt like I was fighting two at the same time most of the time. Cortex, Tail Edge, Hard Fang, Acid Chris, Cortex. Spine shell, a shard. Ooh, I got a mantle. Right. Let's see. Cortex, Cortex, Tail Edges, and Acid Crest. Alright, I don't need that. Eh, I'll take that one. I don't think I need a third. <sighs> well, I get more Savage Shell research. From its insistence on inserting itself into the hunt every chance it got. I'm already drained that one because I haven't hunted it yet. And I have to practice on it eventually. But I get a little bit of an idea of what it's doing. 
if firing its dragon breath straight is something I did not expect. But, as usual, I might as well show the armor for it. So, let's see, where's acidic gladness? Wait, I'm too far. There it is, way down there. I already made the helm for it. It does have a set bonus, maximum might secret. And what that is, is as long as you have a full bar of stamina, you'll get an attack. Well, you get an increase in infinity. And if it maxes it, and because the armor set takes it up, well, it can take it up pretty far, but yeah. It. It'll raise it from level 3 to level 5, and at level 5, as soon as your gauge is full, you get that infinity buff. And it's by 40%, so that might be... That might be good for weapons that don't take up a lot of stamina. But, I might as well show what you can do. Alright, it's the spine shell I'm looking for. I need a lot of those for various weapons and armor and I... Alright, so the Helm Alpha Plus has a level 1 slot, two levels of maximum might, and two levels of... Well, two levels of effluvia resistance. The Beta Helm gives you a level 4 slot in exchange for one level of maximum might. There's a monster that... Well, there's an Elder Dragon coming up where effluvia resistance is absolutely essential especially for scrubs like me so I would try and make at least this the maximum might will come in handy the beta male plus it has a level 4 and a level 1 slot a level of handicraft and a level of stamina surge whereas the oh wait that's yeah, the beta, wait, the alpha male has one level one slot, but you get two levels of handicraft. And handicraft is useful because it can take a weapon that, well, if you've seen the weapons, they have a bar and there's a part of it that's lower. Well, when you have handicraft on there, well, that's mainly from melee weapons. Well, when you use handicraft, it, it powers up that bar. And sometimes it can reach a level of sharpness that it couldn't before, like... There... Well, one of the weapons I want to make for Aesthetic Lavinus has a sliver of purple, I believe. I want to take that Diablo's hammer and turn it into a Aesthetic Lavinus hammer. And... I believe it's... And the reason is... They both had the same base attack, but Aesthetic Lavinus can... It's slightly, I think it's slightly better at sharpness. I'll have to show it. I'll probably will show it. All right, the braces have two levels of stun resistance, one level of handicraft, a level two and a level one slot. The braces alpha take away the handicraft, but give you a level four. So it really depends on whether you want the slot or handicraft. The coil beta has Two levels of handicraft, I might have to make that sometime. With a level 4 slot, the alpha gives you two levels of iron skin and a level 2 slot. And iron skin would be helpful against acidic clavinus since that can, well, <coughs> it reduces how long defense down lasts and maxed out. It makes you immune to defense down debuffs. Now the Oh, yeah, and you can mix it with the regular Glamis armor if you want to make a make a maximum might set or something. I don't know if you want to do that. Now, the Grease Alpha has a level 1 slot, two levels of maximum might, and stamina surge. Well, one level of stamina surge. The Beta Grease give you a level 4 and level 2 slot, and just one level of maximum might. Hmm. 
Seems like this one where it helps is if you're using up stamina, you can recover it quicker and and trigger maximum might quicker that way. And that's just with the alpha. The the beta has some pretty good slots. So to each their own, I guess. And actually, I want to show the weapon I want to upgrade. Is this one? This one has a slight sliver of purple, and so does this. This one has a much larger blue bar. This one doesn't. I think the main reason I want to go with try and make this one. I need about six acidic glavinous spine shells to finish making it. And since I got two mantles, that makes it all the easier to make. Well, the main reason is the affinity difference. It's that much greater. And while this one has two level twos with Black Diablos pieces, this one has a level four. And the level four can, can be really good. I might have to try and make both. Because I'm kind of talking myself out of this argument. And with Max Handicraft, I can have some purple sharpness for either one. But, yeah, I'm going to call it into the episode here. And there will be more monsters in Master Rank 4 Star to deal with. So until then, I want you to have a good day, everyone. And hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. Later, everybody.